The draft report for, Su for the SUSE review has been on your desk since December. When will the report be published and when, you will, when will you bring the proposals to Cabinet? And in particular, Minister, um, the reforms that are going to be in that review, are they going to be brought in in September or are we going to have to wait to 23-24 for them to be done? That's what I'm really concerned about. Thank you very much to the deputy. The honest answer to the, the honest answer to the last part of the question is that that will be a matter for the estimates uh, discussions. But I do take the point the deputy makes about needing to make sure that there's additional supports brought in for September. And it is right when we announce things in budgets, they take effect from the calendar year 2023. So I think the deputy is, is putting it up to me to see if we can do more in relation to from this September. Uh, and I'll certainly uh, work on that basis. The programme for government does contain a commitment to review SUSE eligibility criteria, also adjacency rates uh, and postgraduate grant supports. To take this forward, I did establish a review of the student grant scheme uh, conducted by Indicon uh, under the direction of a steering group chaired by my department and comprising a number of stakeholders, including importantly the Department of Social Protection to look at the whole area of poverty traps, also crucially the voices of our students through USI uh, and the voices of our institutions amongst others. It is my intention uh, to bring, as the Deputy will know from our previous question, uh, to bring this piece of work uh, to Cabinet alongside the decisions I'll be seeking alongside a sustainable funding model. I think the issue of cost and access has to be considered in tandem with issues regarding system funding and reform. I don't want to bring forward a sustainable funding model that is sustainable for universities, but not sustainable for students, not sustainable for their families. If we want the best outcomes, we need a well-funded system which is accessible to people regardless of their background and reform of the student support system system can be and will be a critical enabler of other strategic outcomes across the tertiary education system. So given these interconnections, it's my intention to bring the student grant review to Cabinet alongside report, uh, the report on funding and reform of higher education uh, and publishing both of them together. Implementing the report recommendations is a key priority for my department. I am pleased to say we have started this process, and I know you'll, you'll argue with me about the pace, but we have started to initiate these improvements. Indeed, I'll be signing this week regulations uh, to bring in a number of improvements to the SUSE grant scheme uh, from September including increasing the threshold, increasing the income levels uh, and improving the situation regarding adjacency rates. So all student grant maintenance payments, including the special rate of grant, will increase by €200 Euro per year. The income thresholds to qualify will increase by €1,000 and the qualifying distance criterion for students to qualify to the non-adjacent rate of grant has been reduced to 45, from 45 kilometres to 30 kilometres. We signed those regulations this week. Those, but we really need to see them now, Minister, and we're in an extraordinary times, as you know, with the cost of living, and the cost of living is impacting severely on students and their families, and that's why I have the concern that, they, that things, one thing is being delayed by the other. I really think we need to bring measures in for Susie, Susie eligibility um, before the beginning of the next year. I am concerned concern for the students are here, right here, right now, students who have to travel in particular because they can either get accommodation or afford accommodation and they have to travel in their cars and now we see the price of, of fuel and the unaffordability of that. It really is impacting Minister and I really think that we should treat this uh, with the urgency that it deserves in terms of support for students. It's in their interest, it's in all of our interests that we ensure that as many students as possible continue and are as successful as their, as their studies as they can be. Well, thank you, Deputy. And of course, we did take measures in this house for this uh, student academic year. We did change the law not once but twice uh, in relation to student renters, making sure that students couldn't be asked under law to pay more than one month's rent and one month's deposit. That was a significant issue sought by students' unions, supported by parties across this house, and will have a real and meaningful impact in terms of the amount of money students have to pay out up front. We also changed the law in relation to the notice period of students, uh, and indeed all renters need to give. And we did introduce in the budget the first increase in grant maintenance payments, an increase of 200 per year, the income threshold uh, increasing by €1,000 and that qualifying distance criterion for students to qualify from the non-adjacent rate of grant being reduced from 45 kilometres to 30 kilometres. These aren't abstract things, as, as the Deputy knows and indeed welcomed. These changes will benefit thousands of students. They will build on improvements that we also brought in for this year, the, the current students in terms of postgraduate supports, first increase in improvements there. But I accept we need to do more. I would point out to the Deputy though, and if you look at the terms of reference of the SUSE review, these are exactly the sort of areas that we've been looking at. We're, all, we're not waiting for the publication of a report to make progress. We've started it and I certainly hope to take many more steps uh, in the budget also.
Yeah, I appreciate that, Minister, but we really need to make sure that Susie is fit for purpose, and I think we agree on that. And at the moment, too few people have access to it. I welcome the announced uh, increases to the income thresholds, but obviously we're still waiting for them to come into effect. This, I think we could have worked on the maintenance grant. We wouldn't have had to wait until um, um, September to do that, um, Minister. Uh, there needs to be to, to really increase the numbers getting access to the scheme rather than simply being a standstill measure to keep up with the limited wage growth that we've seen over the last number of years. The SUSE budget was substantially larger in 2015 than it was in 2020 and part-time students are offered no support. You should be looking to extend SUSE to part-time students, even if it's just in terms of helping with fees. SUSE should cover the postgraduate fees as well. We also need to make sure that SUSE supports get to those who need it most, and the burden of proof for loan parents as well, Minister, is way too high. We also need to look specifically at the case of adults, often with children in their own, that they have to move back in because of the housing crisis. So there's a kind of a... Um, there's a perfect storm for students and we need to get them out of it. Thanks. I accept some of the areas that the deputy has highlighted in terms of a need for improvement. I, I particularly agree with the deputy around the issue of part-time students. And I also have to be honest, uh, again on the record of this house, there's a piece of work we need to do in terms of defining what is a part-time student, and I don't mean that in any sort of uh, smart or flippant way, but obviously there's lots of different types of part-time courses. Uh, what constitutes a, a part-time student for the purpose of the grant are genuine technical and, and somewhat legal issues that we will have to work, work through, but we should do that and we will do that. We have, and, and I do want students to know this though, because you, you're right, uh, students are not immune to the cost of living pressures, far from it. Uh, many are experiencing them. That is why we did make the additional allocation to the Student Assistance Fund. I do want students to know that that's there, it is available through their access office and um, students should know that that's there for one-off bills for people who are struggling financially and I do just want to get that message out sometimes I worry that that doesn't get out to students on the ground as much as it needs to through the access office the student assistance fund is there there are changes that we've made to SUSE that have already taken effect including specifically for postgraduate students and the SUSE grant scheme will open now in the coming days for students for the forthcoming academic year.